Okay. In my experience, art is really about working it until you're happy with it. And sometimes it takes a while, but then when you get to that point, it's like, yes. Best feeling in the world. Yes. And I know it doesn't look like much, but once it like gets finished up, it'll be good. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> kind of be making me think of a big tree. Yeah, that's the big, All the tree so, bark so intertwined. Tree. Okay. And then, I mean, should I tell you what I'm going for or no? If you want me, if you want to, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't I'm want to ruin your process. So. Tree. Okay. Uh, olive trees for me has, have always, and they do mean like peace. Okay. But coming from the land, I feel like it fits for where we're at because, I mean, this whole project is built on respect the land and trying not to manipulate it and trying to coexist as much as possible so I feel like an olive tree like even though we're not in the Middle East it's no it symbolizes yeah yeah so and there are like olive that. olive trees in Mexico aren't there in Mexico oh, olive trees? I know there are in Spain the first that I learned about them I was actually in the Middle East and they were all over the place and it's kind of like funny because the Middle East is filled with conflict and there's so many olive trees so I think or I want to believe that like the land itself is actually trying to tell you know humans that there is a way to solve their issues I would like to believe that right right but, um, I think sometimes we're too blind to see it yes that's what I'm going for <laughs> well done And can you tell me your name again? Alexa. Alexa, that's what I thought. And where are you from, Alexa? I am from San Diego. Okay. And my parents are Mexican, so I basically grew up in TJ. Um, yeah. Okay. And you started painting when? You said during the pandemic? I think during, yeah, during the pandemic. Um, I feel like I've always had a knack for arts. Like, I've always been like a good drawer. I know this isn't so precise, but with a pencil in hand, it's a bit different. And during the pandemic, I just kind of picked up the paintings we had at home, or the, sorry about that, the paint we had at home. Yeah. And I utilized them for like arts and crafts, and I kind of just started painting. I made like a really good rooster that I'm proud of, a bowl for like a friend, and a hummingbird. Uh, like one of those like bowling classes. Yep. And I was like, oh, that actually might have been better than the one that they painted for us. So, I don't know. I kind of want to continue to go on this journey. As I think see, it would be a good idea. And see where it goes. Yes, of course. I love hummingbirds, what they represent. So and all things nature. Earlier she wasn't sure if she should do anything. Silly. <laughs> of course she should be doing it. It's interesting to see what people can do with a limited amount of colors. It really is. A lot of times we get context out of colors. But if you were to flip this around, yeah. I'm 
wondering if you would be able to tell that there's a base and a top of a tree. Huh. Just a tiny bit of difference. There is a difference. There's more space. There's more, yeah, more space. The bottom is more uh, filled in for gra like ground. She did a beautiful job. I wonder what it's this beautiful. is. I think I think that uh, was that intentional. I'm not sure. It looks like it might be. She's got other bits over here too. Yeah, I think it's intentional. We were just wondering what this is. Whether that was all intentional, and we're assuming it is. <laughs> Honestly, it's part of it. Yeah. It can be a tree branch falling. It can, it can, I didn't worry too much about it. It can be water, precipitation. Yeah. Whatever anything, it is. whatever it is, it whatever is. It, is. it, it is. just is what it is. It's beautiful, Alexa. Thank you. You're really welcome. Yeah. <laughs>